Thank you for joining us, Rachel Barnett. <laughs> you are this month's Spotlight on Scholarship faculty member. Uh, so we have a couple questions to ask you today. One of them, I hear that this past summer you spent at the Illinois Shakespeare Festival. What exactly is the Illinois Shakespeare Festival? The Illinois Shakespeare Festival is a professional theater company. It's in central Illinois. It's actually in Bloomington, Illinois, which is a rather small college town. But it was started in 1978, so it was the 45th season this year. And they do generally three Shakespeare productions or Shakespeare adjacent sort of productions in repertory, in traditional repertory fashion in an outdoor Elizabethan style theater. Were you involved with this theater festival before this summer? I definitely was involved in this festival before this summer. So I originally started at the Illinois Shakespeare Festival way back in 2004 as an intern stitcher. That means someone who is given basic construction and alterations and that was while I was doing my undergraduate experience. So I am an alum of Illinois State University and Illinois Shakespeare Festival happens on the Illinois State campus. They are part of the United Resident Theater Association. So they are a professional theater connected to the university offering employment and opportunities for their students and also professionals across the country. So this was actually my fifth season over those 18 years. So tell me about some of the responsibilities you've had at the festival since you started working there and more about what you did this past summer. So over my time at the Illinois Shakespeare Festival, I've been a stitcher, an assistant costume designer twice, which is someone who takes notes and helps with fittings, helps select garments, shop for the designer. Then in 2016, I was a cutter draper, which is a pattern maker. I produced all of the women's wear for the three shows in repertory that season. And then this year, I was a costume designer. So I was the main costume designer for Much Ado About Nothing. I was responsible for all of the costume looks for all cast members in that production. So this past summer, what were your most challenging parts and what were the most rewarding parts of what you did? So the most challenging part of what I did was the overlap with the OCU semester. We started design meetings for all of the Illinois Shakespeare Festival shows in December of 2021. So that process had to go over the entire spring semester and I was designing, researching, meeting for Much Ado About Nothing while I was also teaching all of my classes here, designing Little Women, and designing School for Lies, and mentoring all of the student designers at the same time. So as you can imagine, it was rather challenging to accomplish all of that at once. Um, but what was most rewarding, perhaps, about my experience was the fact that I got to have a chance to focus on what I really do in that small amount of time. So I was in residence in Illinois from the end of uh, May through July 1st. And so it was just over a month of time that I got to zone in and focus on that one production. So I got to do what I really love to do at its best while I was not having to juggle everything else that comes with academia at the same time. So do you have any advice for students who might want to participate in a festival like this or in a role that you have uh, worked towards? So the Illinois Shakespeare Festival, like many summer stock seasons, Shakespeare festivals across the country and other professional theaters, offer opportunities from internship, undergraduate level, all the way through professional production. So any actors, designers, technicians, um, stage managers, anyone in the field that would want to get involved with a production like that, it's a great entryway or pathway into that career and it also balances with going to school or working in academia, right? We can take that time off in the summer, go work for a professional company and then come back and bring that knowledge with us. It allows us to network. Um, I, I'm able to stay connected to people that work in Chicago and St. Louis and all over the country that come together at these festivals. So my advice to the students would be 
try, right? Go audition for these sorts of things, put your resume out there, build the resume, um, talk to your professors about similar opportunities um, because students, undergraduate or graduate, uh, can obtain internships or, or paid roles very easily. So Rachel, tell us a little bit about how a costume designer approaches research in their field of scholarship within costume design. So a costume designer has a very complex duty or responsibility in what, so we start from the ground up. We are looking at analyzing, breaking down a play, right? And its needs, its characters, its settings, its locations. Then we're meeting with a group of a director and other key designers, scenic, lighting, sound, um, and we're discussing what are the themes and moods and uh, concepts that we're trying to get across to our audience from day one. The director often comes in with a big artistic vision. Where and when are we setting this Shakespeare play, perhaps, because it's often not Elizabethan England. Um, so we talk through all of those roles, and then I, as a costume designer, hit the ground running with ideas of research inspiration, right? Emotion. How do I want to depict the feeling, the mood, the texture, the character? So I'm pulling artwork from all over the place. Um, I'm looking at historical fashion, right? If we're setting it in a very particular time period, I have to be extremely educated about the fashion of that time and of a certain status of character and I have to start making choices about what these characters would wear in this moment and why. And then from there, we go back and forth, we collaborate, we settle on ideas. I deliver renderings, which I do digitally, uh, but I have to draw every character and what they might be wearing to present to the group. From there, then I have to shop fabric, shop existing garments, pull from an existing costume stock, and I have to make choices about what all of those actors wear based on the measurements that were given and the materials and things in front of me. Then I have to lead an entire costume shop staff. It's a long answer, right? <laughs> an entire costume shop staff and how to produce this vision that we've sought out. Um, I have to instruct stitchers, you know, what alterations need to happen. I need to conduct fittings with the actor and address their concerns, how they move in a costume, um, what alterations or fabrics or fit will affect all of that. Uh, and then we have to generate all of the working garments, go into dress rehearsal, make sure that they work, make modifications if they don't, uh, and then finally on opening night, I say goodbye to everyone and leave. Uh, the wardrobe crew actually has to stay for another month because the Illinois Shakespeare Festival runs in repertory with their plays for a whole month run. My last question is one of my favorite. So how does your scholarship within this field impact what happens in the OCU classroom? One of my favorite things about going to a festival like Illinois Shakespeare Festival and bringing back that work is getting the students involved. So I took a recent grad, uh, Meredith England, who actually got a costume minor uh, with us. She was a performance major, a BFA acting major, and had the interest in costume, and this was her first professional costume experience. I handpicked her as an assistant, took her with me on the road, and we had a great experience together. So more students can have those opportunities and connections with their professors outside of the classroom. Also, I love to bring back examples, right? Real life scenarios. When I'm speaking to the performers in Intro to Costumes about how to research, how to discuss their work with directors, how to put themselves out there, what that process is like, I can use these examples and experiences that I've had in the classroom. And to, even today while I was teaching, I was showing renderings and research from this very production and using it as an example. I appreciate you sharing what you do, how you approach costume design and how you have shared your approach to scholarship within your field. Thank you much. Join us next month for our next version of Spotlight on Scholarship.